Hey, it's Bill Conley here, and I thought I'd just take a few minutes. I've been working on this holster. It's a mahogany collar. Probably almost looks black to you, but you can see I've done the stitching already. Actually, I think I made a video about doing the stitching on this particular piece. Now, what I'm getting ready to do next is when I, when I make the holster, I will carve it out, get it all ready to go. Then I will glue, if I'm putting on, on this extra piece up here, which based on the on the thickness of the leather I'm using, which is a six to seven ounce, I really don't need it, but it it makes it look a little nicer. And of course I charge a little bit more for everything that I do extra stitching on. But anyway, I take these other pieces that I've made. Here's the strap that's going to be used to go over, you know, the butt of the gun. This here is where the clip's going to go in. I use these these clips like this and put it down through there, push it in. It locks in, of course I put a rivet in here, and then I attach it to the back. Now how do I get this thing to stay here? Well, what I do is I will take some rubber cement like this. You used to be able to buy it in stores a lot, but I don't think it's available, so you need to buy it online someplace. Uh, Amazon is a good place. Tandy sells this particular one. But then I, what I do is I put it on the back of this. I line it up to where I want it to be. Maybe it's better I show you and I show you right side up. I'm not putting any glue on it now. And then I do it. Now one thing about rubber cement that you want to do when you do this, and by the way, I would be, do, yeah, I'd be on the right side. One thing about rubber cement, you want to let it dry for Oh, maybe 15, 20 minutes if you get it on fairly thick, maybe a little longer. You can actually let it go for a whole day before you put it on because otherwise it stays so gooey that it's really not worth it to use. Same thing with this. I will put the uh, button punch hole thing in here first. Do that and then I'll glue it on here. Again, leaving it set for a while so that the glue stiffens up, but it still stays sticky. And that way, if you use that type of glue, if it, if it moves around a little bit, you know, or if you have to move it, you can. If you use contact cement, not so good. I only use contact cement when I really want to seal something down in a specific spot, and I know that's where I'm going to have it. So anyway, just informing you of that, and I hope this has been helpful for you. Take care, and you have a good day.